So for today's vlog, guys, we are here in Prekestul, and this is one of the most visited um, tourist attraction here in Norway. Yes, so maybe you guys have heard about it, but today we are not going for a walk there because it's still cold. But we went for a drive here just to get out of the house a little bit. So here is, we are now at the parking lot. And here, um, behind me, that is a toilet. And uh, so here you need to pay for the parking. The parking costs 250 Norwegian kroners. And if you're only for two hours, then it's 40 Norwegian kroners. And um, for bus, it's 1,000 Norwegian kroners. So, yeah. They widen the parking here, guys. And there's no other way to park the car, so we need to go here. And here is, let me see, that's the Prekestulen Fjallstuen. It's a mountain lodge. Uh, it's also a restaurant and an outdoor gear rental. You can rent kayaks and that, so. And then behind me, that's the tourist information. There, that one is close. <laughs> uh, the last time we went here, you guys, that was 2016. Oh, that's almost five years, five years ago. Here's another Hiker's Cafe. Hiker's Cafe. There. And this one here is, is new. That one behind me, that's not there before. That's new. So, yeah, there's always changes, guys. Um, so here is also the sign. So there, it's four kilometers walk to Prekestulen and to the famous Lise Fjorden. If you want to walk also, it's 3.6 kilometers. And for Rem, Rem Sokai, that's 3.6 kilometers. So here also is another view of the mountain lodge, guys. It's nice there on uh, summer, guys, when the sun is up. So, yeah, nice place. Look. And then, <laughs> let's go here. Here, uh, yeah, there you can rent. You can rent kayak, canoe, kayak, if you want to go kayaking on the lake. Other parking, I think this is for the guests of the mountain lodge. That one behind me. So you can check that, guys. If you want to stay here for a night, that would be nice. If you want to stay for a night after the walk to Rickestulen. Yeah, that's the parking. <clears throat> by, the, by the way, guys, I want to ask you a favor. If you have, haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do. <laughs> so look at that, guys. Behind me, look. It's one of the cabins. It's, yeah. It's really nice. It's really cool, isn't it? It's like there's a grass on the roof, so it blends in the nature. And here is also another cabin. Yeah. Cabin, yeah. There. You can rent that out. It's really nice. So here we have a path. Here we have a path, guys. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera now, guys. Uh, there. So that is the lake. Look at those guys, cabins. So that's new. There's a bench. Benches there. We want to go for a day trip for a picnic. And this one here, guys. Actually, I haven't been. I haven't walked here before. I've been here three times, but not. We haven't walked into this lake. So it's going to be interesting to see. And also, we are planning to come back here in summer, guys. We are planning to walk through Prekestulen to the pulpit rock. Um, look at the view, guys. Oh my god. So now it's around 4 o'clock. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of cold. Wow, look at those guys. So if you don't want to stay up there in the mountain lodge, then you've got another option. If you want to stay right close to the Revs Vatna Lake, 
Uh, it's called Prekestol and Base Camping. And yeah, this is, I'm going to show you guys, look. <laughs> it's really nice. And then you can start a fire here, a bonfire in the evenings. And if you want to grill food, if you want to grill food, guys, you can just use that, I think, a grill there. It's really cool. Oh, look at that, guys. Hi Hikers Nest. <laughs> I wonder how, how much it costs on this one. And I can see they got locks there. Like you just need to use code in order to get inside. I'm curious how it looks in, inside. But it's uh, dark. But it's really, it's really nice, guys. So, yeah, here I'm not sure how many. I've lost count. <laughs> but it's very quiet and peaceful. And the lake is just right there. So, this is another option. If you don't want to stay at the mountain lodge. And you want to stay overnight. Then you are just going to stay here. <laughs> and maybe on summer. They also have a booth where you can buy you can buy something to drink something to drink here we got fridge but it's, it's still empty they haven't filled it up yet and for ice cream <laughs> yeah and here is a wood faucet yeah wood for fire girl, fire girl. Yeah, here's for wood, wood, and behind there there's a faucet. Hmm. Okay, guys, so we see what we have here. I'm gonna jump here. There we go. So it's got a motor, guys. Okay. There. So let's take a look what in what's in. It's floating. Oh. Can you see inside? Wait, I'm gonna get a good angle. It's no, I can go inside, I think. Can I? <laughs> so, oh, that's a that's sauna. No, <laughs> I'm not sure what is this, guys, but it's like a floating cabin. Yeah, I think it's a floating cabin, cabin with the towels there. And then you just you just need to take the rope, roll sure. it out, and then you can you can pull yourself and uh, just stay in the middle of the lake. That's really cool, right? So they have two here. So that's the other one. You can just enjoy the the view, the surroundings. It's quiet, it's peaceful. Anyway, I haven't seen this the last time we were here, guys. So, let's go. Maybe this one here, maybe they are life jackets. I don't know. Now, I'm having problems on how to go there. So, my husband needs to pull. Pull me in, pull in. Wait. Okay, thank you. There we go. And we are back. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed my vlog for today. And on the description below, I have, or on my next upload, I'm going to upload my drone footage on the lake. So, this is Jan, your Tongo Traveler, saying every day above ground is a good day. So, please subscribe, like, and share. <laughs> Bye!